Oh, okay. So I've talked about it before, but I'll summarize real quick. A couple years ago, my uncle found this double bike in his neighbor's trash, and he took it. And, well, my uncle never rides it, but me and my cousin, every holiday, or every time I'm at my uncle's house for something, for some sort of holiday, or like birthday or whatever, me and my cousin ride the bike. So yesterday, it's Christmas, and it's a solid negative three degrees outside, and we were like, should we ride the bike? It might, is it too cold? You know, we were debating riding it or not, but we weren't going to ride it, right? We decided not to ride it, but my aunt decided to make a little funny joke about our double bike. So then, well, now we have to ride the double bike. She was like, oh, you guys aren't riding the double bike today? Are you guys too scared of the cold? And, you know, we can't take that disrespect. So me and my cousin, we go looking around his house, finding stuff for our, uh, snowboarding. Don't know why my cousin has it. He never, he's gone snowboarding one time, like eight years ago. But he keeps getting snow, like my uncle keeps buying him snow like snowboarding stuff, like jackets and pants and stuff. Don't know why. Because my uncle doesn't know how to uh, snowboard. So they're kind of, they just sit in his closet. So we get a bunch of snowboarding stuff on. We get like the overalls. We look like we're going snowboarding. We can barely move, which isn't the best for, you know, being on a bike. And we have everything. We got these gloves on. They have holes in them. But we're like, I mean, they're better than nothing. And so we we <laughs> we go on the double bike. The tire's flat, so we spend about 10 minutes because we have gloves. We have like six pairs of gloves on, so it's harder to pump air into the tire. And it's super hard to unscrew the uh, cap on the tire. So we spend like 15 minutes trying to get the bike set up. We finally do. Oh, and by, the handlebar was twisted to like a negative 45 degree angle. So it took us like 10 minutes to get that fixed up. The bike's all ready to go. We start pedaling. And, well, we didn't think about the wind. Well, we thought about the wind, but we didn't think of how bad it would be when we started to ride the bike. So it's like negative 80 degrees plus the wind chill. So we're we're basically freezing to death out there, right? Our fingers are numb. Our feet, they're numb. Our face, numb. And we don't have helmets on or anything. So we're just riding. And we're we're going to do one lap, like, around the neighborhood. But we have to go down a massive hill. So we start going down this hill. The wind, it's killing us, right? Like, no one's having fun. We both wish we weren't doing this. We get to the bottom of the hill, and we go to turn around. And I sit on the back of the double bike, so I can't see. I'm not steering. According to my cousin, we hit an ice patch. Don't believe that at all, because there was no ice. We hit an ice patch and flipped the bike. Like I said... I didn't see any ice patch. I'm pretty sure he just crashed us. Um, so we flip, fly off. We're fine. I mean, we were cold and sad. But besides that, we're completely fine. We get up. I'm like, what happened? He's like, we hit an ice patch. I turn around. There is no ice patch in the road. He's like, no, 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 no. It's there. It's just, it's hard to see. There's no ice patch. All right. I'm pretty sure. You're... Actually, no, I'm not pretty sure. I know for a fact that there's no ice patch there. So. Yeah, we flipped, we found, because we usually find like a TV or something, found no TVs, we were cold, the jackets were ripped for the most part, the pants were screwed up, the bike is probably dead at this point, there's no, <laughs> there's no saving the double bike, and we were freezing cold, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, GG.